Okay, you want to do question and answer or you want me to? Yeah. Oh, can you tell us more about the gag order that you're asking for? Yeah. What does it entail? Okay, the gag order was primarily aimed at, uh, at stopping uh, anyone at all, uh, making statements, and then that statement get published in the media, uh, which are unfair. Uh, for instance, even before the trials uh, have started, there are people who make comments like uh, Datuk Sri Najib uh, is 100% guilty. Uh, they have never seen uh, a bigger fraud uh, case than this, and so on and so on. So, uh, as you know, our constitution guarantees, just like most other um, civilized countries, we have got a constitution that guarantees fair trial. One of the fundamental of fair trial is that you cannot discuss, public cannot issue statements that comments upon the merits of the case in a prejudicial way. But if you are reporting a court proceeding, for instance, uh, when the trial starts, or today, you are going to report about what transpired in court very clinically. There's nothing wrong with it. Because you're not commenting on the merits, uh, making comments about whether or not uh, Datu Sri Najib is uh, a person who pretends that he doesn't have money. Things like that you cannot do. Because that will be prejudicial and it's against a fair trial concern. So the, the CAC order, is to stop anyone making comments like that pertaining to the merits of the four charges and getting it published in any media. That was the idea. Are you confident that Mr. Najib will be able to clear his name? He said he maintained his innocence. Are you confident that he will be able to clear his name? Will he be okay. given a fair trial? Without going into the merits, because the, the gag order is my application, I can tell you in a general way what I, we have as a team examined, uh, we, are, we are happy uh, with the case of the defense. We are very happy. So uh, in short, I'm saying that we are confident that we've got a good defense. I can't go beyond that. Yeah? But you will, see, you will see the unfolding of the defense when the trial starts. Right? Oh, the, the, gag, the gag order is just to ensure nobody make unfair comments about the merits of the case in order to get it published by the media. Well, uh, to, to, uh, for instance, to say he is guilty or innocent, you know, without, without the trial having even uh, unfolded. That's basically it. Making a pre-judgment of the case, in other words. Does social media comments as well? All. To, to all kind of media, whether traditional or digital or social media, it will be applicable. Yeah. Tapi di mana kau akan lebih banyak IT datang, ada akan masuk pada lebih banyak IT akan dikemukakan pihak tasyid dan sedia kan untuk menghadapi lebih banyak US and the state more judges. Well, you see, there are only two matters. Ada dua perkara. Satu perkara M1 MDB, lagi satu perkara SRC. Today we got SRC, but the, the bigger matter was 1MDB, so I will leave it to your imagination why 1MDB they are not charged, okay, why SRC? Sorry, the SRC? Yes, yes, that's a good point, because the gag order is about today's proceeding. What happens if the gag order is free? Yeah. The, the uh, gag order is basically for the media not to print. doesn't matter who spoke about it. It can be uh, the chairman of MACC, it can be the uh, commissioner of MACC, it, can, it could be the minister of finance. It could be uh, Datuk Sri uh, Najib himself. If he keeps on saying he's innocent because of this, because of that, he too is prohibited. So that let the court decide. But the next uh, the gag order is only until CM, can the next CM eight, eight Yeah, because it is an interim. The next CM, we have a full-blown argument whether or not the gag order should be driven in its finality. Okay? If it is violated, then what will happen? It will be a contempt of court. We are thinking very seriously about it. What is the reason? Well, we have mentioned a little bit, okay. but uh, uh, in short, I think he has made a pre-judgment.
even before becoming the Attorney General. Are you concerned that uh, your client will not be able to be given a fair trial? Are you concerned by the conduct of the case so far? Will your client be given a fair trial? Okay, that's far, from what I've seen, including even uh, from the proceeding yesterday and today in court. Thus far, I'm quite happy that it seems to be uh, in accordance with law. Uh, I hope during the trial, everything goes as expected, namely in accordance with a uh, fair trial principle. My client is not worried about the trial, not worried about the defence, providing that he's given a fair shake at the trial, which we are sure, uh, looking at the judge today, the way the judge uh, behaved in his, de in his decorum, and uh, we, we, are, we are quite sure that it's going to be a bad trial. Do you know that the prosecution indicate to you regards to one MDB? When are the other charges? No, no indication. No indication? No indication whatsoever. Because February take like a really long time before trial starts, like a long gap before trial actually starts. Is that the... You mean this for case? This, for this particular case, is that normal given that the, you know, the, the nature of this case and the personality involved? I mean, well, Normally, it is us who ask for the delay because we are taken by surprise. Uh, but you will note, it is a prosecution who asks for a delay of one month for a mere mention. And as I've said, and I, I'm very serious about this, you will not realize the seriousness of what I said this morning until you become an accused person. If you are an accused person or your loved one become an accused person, you will suddenly remember me and say, well, Tansi Shafi said the right thing because it hits you right in the nose. If you don't have documents given to you to see the detailed allegation, how are you going to defend yourself? In civil proceeding, you exchange pleading, you exchange documents. For months and months, you exchange, you exchange, you do interrogation, you do discovery, all that. Why? Because you want to know what is the other's case and the other want to know what is your case. So everything is thrashed out. Can you imagine that is civil, just pure money, judgment. But when your life is at stake, you can be hanged, you can be sent to 20 years imprisonment, you can be sent to 10 years imprisonment. The Attorney General today said, well, there is a provision 51A. We are only allowed, we are only supposed to give you before the trial. But he doesn't understand, before the trial means reasonably before the trial. But the, the Interpretation Act says, whenever time is not given, you act as speedily as possible. Not, you know, in one week's trial, you give it to me. What am I going to do? Well, I have to ask for adjournment. So, I told you today this morning, when I went to Brisbane, defending Tansi Muhammad Taib, it is a country we all were scared because we thought it's anti-Asian. Uh, they call it a redneck country. It is not. When I went there, when Muhammad Taib was charged, the very day he was charged, the DPP came with the I.O. and gave me a stack of this much paper and said, this is the paper that we have got to introduce and we will prove the case through this. On the same day. Now, when they charge my client today, you would have thought, you must be ready. After all, <coughs> Tansi Gani Patel and his gang said, well, we were ready in 2015 July. If you're ready in 2015 July, how come you're not ready today? And why did it take so long to charge? So it tells you something else, that uh, the, the, uh, the attempt to so-called charge him in 2015 was a little suspicious, if it is true. If it is true that there was an attempt to charge him. Okay. Thank you. Would you say the, would you say the prosecution then might potentially be hostile? The, the prosecution, do you, based on what you said, do you say that they could potentially be hostile towards your clients? Well, <clears throat> they can be hostile, but I do not expect them to be unfair. Because, you know, uh, lawyers have got a certain amount of arrogance, namely, intellectually we are arrogant. We do not want people to think we are unfair. So, I hope that parameter will exist. Somehow, fairness will uh, prevail. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.
This is one occasion I 100% agree with the bar council. No, I, I don't know what the task force is doing. There is no such thing as a task force that should advise the Attorney General. The Attorney General under Article 1453 has got his sole discretion. Nobody can even question him. Not even the court can question his discretion. But now he's being, it looks as though, from what the Bar Council has been saying, the Attorney General is being dictated by a task force of four men. That's, that's not constitutional. That's in fact totally illegal. And I am disturbed by it. I'm very disturbed by it. And, and the uh, constituent of the four members, there are people in the previous uh, regime that have done investigation, people in the previous regime that was the Attorney General, People like that who are already uh, in in some way or other uh, tainted somewhat. Okay, I'm not saying tainted in a bad way, but they are tainted and they may have a prejudgment. So why are these people in the task force supervising the attorney general? I've never seen this before. But a previous regime? Are you referring to the Najib's administration? Well, during Najib's administration, I remember Gani Patel set up a task force. And I remember an opinion being given to the Attorney General, sorry, to, to the Prime Minister, that a task force set up without the sanction of the Cabinet is illegal. Because under 1452, eh, tadi I kata 3 kan, 1452, any um, special task to be given to the Attorney General must be given either by the Prime Minister or the, or the Cabinet through another Minister. So it has, it has got to be sanctioned by a member of the government. That task force was not sanctioned. Okay? There were reports saying that you, were, you, know, you received payment from one MDB. Do you think this will get you disqualified? Well, they can try. All I say is they can try. I'm not going to tell the detail to make their job a lot easier. Okay? But they're going to, they, if they do try, they'll get some shock. Okay, okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay.